44 no. billion dollars. My time's up. I would take that as a no and yet another example of the bad judgment you've displayed for a very long time on these critical foreign policy questions. Thank you, Senator Cotton. Senator Rono, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I ask the following two initial questions of all nominees who come before any of my committees. So I will ask these questions of you. I will start with uh, Mr. Shello. Uh, since you became a legal adult, have you ever made unwanted requests for sexual favors or committed any verbal or physical harassment or assault of a sexual nature? No, Senator. Ms. Abercrombie? No, Senator. Have you ever faced discipline or entered into a settlement related to this kind of conduct? No, Senator. No, Senator. For Mr. Shelley, the compacts of free association and the monetary assistance within them are inextricably <laughs> uh, tied to U.S. indo on posture and national security. Are you familiar with the compacts and, and their purposes? Senator Corona, thanks for the question. I really appreciate our time the other week uh, talking about this and many other issues in your office. I am very familiar with the so-called COFA agreements and their critical importance to our security. Good, because can you uh, expound a little bit more about why uh, the, these compacts are of critical Im importance and even as we are uh, pretty much negotiating those compacts even as we speak? We can indeed you expound are. a little bit more on why they're so important? Sure, Senator. These compacts help provide critical access to our forces and personnel throughout the Pacific Islands, which given the challenges we are facing in the Indo-Pacific, particularly emanating from the PRC, that access uh, is absolutely critical to our security. And especially as we are very focused on uh, the Indo-PACOM AOR, that uh, our uh, agreements with the compact nations, the Palau, Micronesia, and um, I'm sorry, Marshall Senator. Islands. <laughs> Very important. Thank you. So for you again, missile technology has rapidly developed and perhaps now has even outpaced our policy process. As our adversaries modernize, we must adapt to ensure strategic locations like Hawaii are protected. How do you believe that DOD can improve its policies regarding cruise and hypersonic missile defense of the homeland? S Senator, thank you. And thank you for your continued advocacy uh, on this issue set. Obviously, the defense of Hawaii and defense of Guam are absolutely critical to our security. My understanding, Senator, is that Hawaii has the same protection as the 49 other states. Uh, and I know the department has been making some critical investments in upgrading our missile defense uh, posture uh, to cover Hawaii. If confirmed, I can pledge to you that I will continue to remain very focused on this and will look forward, if confirmed, in working with you and your team to ensure we're doing what we need to do to ensure Hawaii's protection. Thank you very much, because there was a time when uh, there was a particular kind of radar system that was going to be placed in Hawaii, and that is no longer the case, and, and that is why I continue to pursue missile defense of Hawaii, and I will work with you, of course, should you be confirmed. For you again, I introduced a bill last year to establish embassies in several Pacific islands, so I particularly appreciate the administration's announcements at the Pacific Island Forum Summit this week. Improving relationships in the Pacific, both diplomatically and with military-to-military -military engagements, is, is foundational to national security. If nominated, well, you have been nominated, how would you use your State Department and DOD experience to build on DOD's efforts in campaigning and demonstrating our commitment to allies in the region? Thank you, Senator Hirono. Our work to strengthen our partnerships with the Pacific Islands uh, has been quite intense over the last year. President Biden, as you noted, just on Monday, hosted his second summit of Pacific Island leaders. Secretary Blinken, just two days ago, met with uh, the Pacific Island leaders from Palau, the Marshall Islands, and Micronesia to talk about the COFA process. So I can tell you, if confirmed, I would certainly carry this effort forward at the Pentagon because this is a critical, critical set of relationships for the Department of Defense. The State Department has been in the lead in negotiating these agreements, but the benefits are really uh, with the Department of Defense. And I think that the, the more we are diplomatically engaged, not just militarily engaged with our island nation friends, it's important because, for example, places like the Solomon Islands, that China is very much engaged in what is going on there. And uh, I would note that with regard to the COFA negotiations, we need to complete 
our agreements with the Marshallese, and uh, my hope is that we're going to uh, see our way through to enable them to sign on to this 20-year uh, compact that is critical to our national defense. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Rono. Uh, Senator Rounds, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Abercrombie and uh, Mr. Chalet, first